装追逐。I got the energy to win. On your mark, set, let the games begin. Tell the competition that we going in. Here to separate the boys from the men. Plan on winning, I stop. Yeah, that's the goal. Second place in the watch, and we want the gold. When it's all said and done, winning our foes. We gon' have the best story that's ever told. Let's get the show on the road. Uh. The best week of the summer, week eight. Welcome to camp. We gave time to show what we made up. Two 
100, I'm going in I'm back, back, back at it again like Okay, is this real? <laughs> okay, I'm like actually gonna fall, guys. Hey guys, I really have to poo. And it's really bad. So I might take a water dump. Excuse me, what? Jesus identifies with sinners even though he's not a sinner. Isn't this a beautiful thing that we have a Savior who identifies with us in our weaknesses? The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 4 that he identifies with us in every way. And he sympathizes is the word that it uses with us in every way in our sin even though he himself is sinless. So Jesus identifying with us, he's saying, listen y'all, he's saying, I'm one of you. For this period of my life, I've come into humanity to become one of you. We're supposed to learn the fear that makes us fearless. Learn the fear that makes us fearless. Because fearing God frees us from fearing death. Fearing God frees us from fearing others. Peace of God is available to you. He's destroyed our greatest enemy, Satan. He has authority and power over this world. He's going to make a new one. And he did everything to free us from the rebellion of our own sinful flesh. Don't reject him. He has power and authority, and he'll save you. God has power in your life, power to withstand temptation and to fight back against temptation and to take victory over temptation and the sin that it presents. Jesus is showing us how to fight temptation. We fight it with the Word of God. Cause I'm ready, I'm
Pray that you would give us the most amazing week of our summer, that you would do wonderful things in each of our hearts and lives. In your name, Lord Jesus, amen.